It's supposed to be an in, you fucking dipshit. Oh, oh my, my god. god. You can't spell. <laughs> Navi sucks. There we go. Oh god, she that was does. that was fucking awful. Okay. All right. So this is the point of the game. Well, actually, no. We didn't even one. Let's do one more thing first before well, we get to that point. Well, it is the point of the game where you have a choice of how yeah. you want to do it. There's yeah. a couple paths you can take that will net you the bad ending or the good ending. Yeah. It's, it's, We're it's, going it's, for the good ending, of course. Yeah. There's one yeah. more thing you got to do first. And now you see that we have a new that. island. Yeah. That was new hidden in the fog earlier. It just shows up on our map now that we know it's here. In his pants. Oh. Never mind. Scoozy. <laughs> Burping up that McFlurry I had like two hours ago. Ew. <laughs> whoa, 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 what is going on here? I hear drums. Boom, 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 boom. Serious drums and chanting. Is this a good idea for us to be here? I don't know. They're singing Kumbaya over there. <laughs> no, don't go north. Whatever the fuck you do. Ooh, drums and chanting, yes we know. Oh, this looks like a lovely place. Alright, you need two little things from here. One is this obvious side that's for some reason hanging upside down against some kind of bear pelt or something. Why Ooh. the fuck it's there, I have no idea. Wow, the way he's holding that looked really questionable. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at- All you could see was the handle sticking out. I love how they have like ornaments hanging off this like... cow skull. <laughs> it's like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, only like sadistic. <laughs> Look at how like decrepit their housing is, oh my god. They're like woodsy people. They're fine. It's fine. Don't judge. This takes some coal, because remember, somebody was looking- It's Christmas and I'm taking some, some coal, coal as my gift. Yeah. Because that's pretty much what I'm getting. We're gonna give that to Viking Santa. <laughs> and those who have watched my Final Fantasy IV LP know exactly who Viking Santa is. What did I do that for? So... Yes, we know there's chanting- Ah! Oh, I already had my map selected. Oh, look, we get a nice dagger, too. Ooh. So we just had to come here for those things. I don't think we can do anything here yet. Actually, no, there's still a couple more things we do. We can do before the path actually divides. Because we can do stuff on the Isle of the Beast! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the raccoon! Did you see that? He was so cute. Hee hee. Hee hee. We haven't been here in forever! Because before the- Oh, bunny! Look at the bunny! Oh my god, uh -huh. the bunny's so cute. And the water is still hot. I know. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh my god, this is just going to be the bad 80s <laughs> montage episode. <laughs> Me mind on fire! Me so on fire, feeling yeah, hot, blah, blah, hot, blah. <laughs> I don't even know well, the lyrics to this we were song. here, some dude tried to arrow us in the fucking face. Well, there's a gardener here who said we, we'd be fine. And he's still here. Yes, what but we, we have a shield. We can block that shit. The Deku shield. Yay. Preparing yes, I don't know how a wooden shield is going to protect you from a stone arrow. Oh. The oh. magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. Oh, yeah. Good. Then he would have taken an arrow to the knee. I was just going to say that. Yes. <laughs> that meme will never die. <laughs> Look at pretty flowers. Take the pretty flowers. Oh, they look nice. Yeah, pretty Ooh, flowers. Oh, white rose. Aren't they? That looks nice. Pretty roses. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> I never understood the really the fascination with roses. Oh, oh, what is this? Uh, uh, what? Rose hedges on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence. Reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Well, Alexander, you can totally jump that shit. Apparently, someone doesn't want us here. I know. Let's totally invade on their property. Let's do it! Attack! Attack our way through this crap. Oh god, keep doing it. The leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches faster than they can grow back together. Jump over it, you fucktard. He sees light. Go towards the light, right. Alexander. Right He's through! Hooray! Where hey. are we? Like, we've never been over here. What the hell? Whoa! Who the hell is this bastard? He looks like the cowardly lion from here. <laughs> Who dares under beast's garden? Whoa, you're interesting looking. My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. 
He totally did. No, and yet, Monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. You're right, I totally just busted yeah. through here. Uh, I suppose it's simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. Uh. That's Alexander's way of saying, I'm a fucking asshole and don't give a shit about your property values. He kind of just goes wherever he wants. <laughs> I know. You must be a prince, then. I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Uh... Hey, it's, it's what's on the inside <laughs> that counts, okay? Didn't you know this? It's a trick question. Well, for the face of a beast, uh, it really is quite noble. Oh, good one, Alexander. Nice save. You, you know, I just noticed it now. If you just watch his animation, he just pulled out a mirror and is looking at himself in it. Yep. Ha! Huh. I'm glad you like it, for soon you will own one just like it. I, too, was once a pretty prince, caring nothing but for adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. And then he got herpes. And now he puts it away. <laughs> but I wrangled one too many evil hacks. One dark night, I was turned to this obscenity you see before you. Warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. So he's an old fucker now. <laughs> Surely there's a way off this island. Yes, we have a magic map, Alexander. It's been sitting <laughs> in your pants. Alexander's been up and down this place before. I know. Look, I mean, look at those. I mean, you can even see his back boobs from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surely you broke in, did you not? And yet, where would I go clad so elegantly as I am with this silk and this pelt? Well, we've seen some pretty weird shits <laughs> along the way, so I'm pretty Actually, sure you'd fit right in. <laughs> pretty much fit in with all the rabble we've seen. <laughs> I know. You're fine, dude. You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers and load these many years. That is, except for the druids, who stole my heirloom coat of arms. Those what? bastards. What is going on with everybody stealing stuff? And, uh, I love how he's like the only person who mentions the druids. Besides the oracle, nobody knows about their island even existing. So what the fuck? <laughs> if there's any way I can help... Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. Oh great, you get to play homo gay as a beast <laughs> with this guy. That sucks. <laughs> By the laws of the sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave, as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity's left. Well, that is balls. Great. That's just great. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. Yeah, like 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 that total spell that turns someone into a cat forever that Mordak totally said, <laughs> Oh, you're the only one who can reverse it. No, the book said forever. I don't think you people know what that means. <laughs> the enchantment you are under is tied to my own. The sorceress left me a way out, all right, but I'm afraid it was only her final bit of joke. I see where this is going. No one. <laughs> you see, I need only find a maiden to join me here, to share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. Well, we can just find a blind chick! Yeah, we'll just find someone blind. It's fine. Yeah, Good. it's fine. Still trying to find such a maid for Kasima's sake. Yeah, you do that. Not for this guy's sake. Yeah, no. <laughs> Truly? How determined of you. I, personally, would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. Ooh, can I go play there, Kay, now? Please? <laughs> please? This works for Pac-Man. <laughs> it's my family ring and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... I shall give her this ring. Great, so she'll think I'm proposing to her instead of proposing she marry this guy instead. Brilliant! We'll trick her. This will totally work. I know, right? Yes. She must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. What is with everyone in this kingdom being so damn pessimistic? Once she gets a gander at the house you're living in, she'll be fine. Yeah, I know, right? so freaking materialistic. <laughs> your time is short. Count the minutes on your fingers while fingers you still have, pretty prince. Your master will await you. Whoa, are you coming on to me? <laughs> he will be Sir? if we don't do this. Oh, Jesus. We have very little time Tons. to do this. We must make haste. But first we must save our game, just in case we screw this shit up. Yes. Which we might. Hmm. Why the hell not? <laughs> Apologies to anyone who happen who out there who happens to be homosexuals. We have no issues with you people whatsoever. Nope. 
No. And we're being serious there. I love everyone. Gay people are actually pretty awesome. I love everyone. No, 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 Even, get Alexander! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alexander, get your fucking ass over here. <laughs> Even people that work at Taco Bell. Love them too. Just as long as you're not like shooting people up at a Baja Fresh. <laughs> Man, I wish we had Baja Fresh around here. You remember that though? <laughs> God. That was like the weirdest birthday ever. Just letting you know, I have like 10 minutes left before okay. I have to really go because I have to okay. get sorry. Because I'm at work! We'll just let everyone think I'm at work. <laughs> the crown! Hopefully, we I can... think we know of a maiden that may be suitable. Yeah. Hopefully, it's we have. the old man selling lamps. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can't see. It'll be fine. Yeah, why does it have to be a maid? Why can't it be a dude? Why can't it be like a transvestite? She's not homo gay. Well, he was totally coming on to us. He's totally homo gay. Yeah, but Alexander's like superiorly like girly. <laughs> so maybe he was confused. Yeah, I guess it must be those back boobs. It was the back boobs. He got mesmerized. He just wanted to grab him. Oh, the old man's not here. He knew we were looking for him. Actually, Wait, the old man. Uh, if if you get the spell book, the old man doesn't appear again until the end of the game. Oh. Don't forget to do this. Jalo. It's oh. MC Hammer. <laughs> Yay! Is the wedding still moving forward at the castle? <sighs> No, it's moving backwards. <laughs> Prince Alex, he gets. Yes, that confounded wedding is the whole castle of bustle. I didn't come here to talk about that, though. I came to warn you. What, is Vanilla Ice trying to, you know, break in on your, on your, on your cred, <laughs> he's, man? He's playing at the wedding. <laughs> warn me about what? Isn't the wedding bad enough? <sighs> also, I'm going to be turned to a beast in about 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. No, listen, the vizier knows you're here, Alexander. He posted extra guards, and he's telling them about a foreign saboteur. Who else could he mean but you? Now, the funny thing is, though, this dialogue is the same whether or not you went into the castle to begin with. I mean, the vizier has known we were here, like, since, like, mostly the beginning of the game. But yeah. Because, obviously, he had, the, he's had, you know, his little flunky spy on us. But, in, you know, he'll, he'll still say this even if we walked into the castle and introduced ourselves. But apparently <laughs> Jolo has, well, MC Hammer has no idea about this. I guess not. The vizier's genie must have learned of your presence in the land, Prince Alex. I don't know how, but he must have. Maybe it's because I walked through the fucking front door! <laughs> I've pretty much seen him at every turn. I haven't exactly been discreet, uh, I'm afraid. Yeah. That, that about covers it. That's like the understatement of the century. Alexander, this is serious. El Hazard will never let you get close to Kasima now. He's doubled the castle guard, probably to make sure you keep out. I'll get my way in there. Gad, Zooks, it's too bad there isn't some way to convince El Hazard that you've been left the islands, or even died. If he thought you were out of the way, you, know, you might be able to get close enough to... Boom, chugga, wow, wow. Come on to me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, what an interesting thought. Uh, tell me more about this genie. Uh. Though the genie's name is Shamir Shmazel. Al Hazred brought Shamir with him when he came to this kingdom. Shamir probably won't directly threaten you, but that doesn't mean he isn't dangerous. He can be a terrible trickster and a genius spy. Oh yeah, he totally looked like that old woman. Yeah, I know, he right? He totally didn't realize it was him. Yeah, I know. I was fooled. Oh, it's too bad we can't get our hands on Shamir's lamp. If we had the lamp, the Hazard and all of our problems would be solved. Wouldn't that be a fine thing? Sir? You would wish to be a master of such a wicked creature? Oh, God. Now who's being racist, huh? <laughs> oh, Shamir isn't necessarily evil. Genies never are, you know. They only reflect their owner's hearts for good or ill. El Hazard is hardly a shining example for an impressionable genie. Yeah, that guy's a fucking asshole. Yeah, pretty much. He also smells. Like uh, poop. So how do you propose we go about getting Shamir's lamp? <laughs> he smells like poop and crusty farts. That's not cool. <laughs> what? Prince Alex, I was only dreaming. The lamp is heavily guarded. It would be easier to steal El Hazard's own trousers while he's wearing them than it would be to get... Whoa! <laughs> Sir, you have some weird ideas. Are we speaking from experience here? I really don't want that dude's pants. I promise you. <laughs> But surely a clown's hands are quick and active. Oh, Alexander! What? No! <laughs> oh, boy. Are we speaking from experience here, Alex? Probably. Well, yes, they are, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> but the theft will be detected almost immediately, and then my poor neck. What? What kind of... Whoa, what kind of... Ragtag bunch is... is what is this? 
if the theft were detected. They're just planning to steal his pants. <laughs> That's all they're planning to do here. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, yes, well, um, there might be a slim chance, but only that. If you could find an exact replica of the genie's lap, an exact replica, I might be able to make the swap. I alone might get close enough. <laughs> he, you know, he calls me to his room at night. <laughs> God, this conversation is way too many innuendos in it. <laughs> but I couldn't tell you what to look for. I caught a glimpse of it only once. I would know if I saw it again, but to say, well, I cannot. Um, only once? Just once? But they have you blindfolded every time? I bet they do. <laughs> well, I'll just have to see what I can do. Uh, good luck to you then, Prince Alex. I really must be going back to the castle. I don't think I'll be able to come back here. If we were spied on, it's too high a risk. I hope you understand. Yep, yep, that, that bookshop owner is totally, totally working for the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Totally. If I see Kazima, I'll tell her I saw you. If you do make it to the castle, look me up and do be careful, friend. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> I will. Uh, goodbye, Jalo. Thanks for all your help. Uh, I have to go in two minutes. Really bad? Yeah. I think he had a turtle head poking out. Do you gonna take a ghost dump? <laughs> <laughs> a fan tune, I should say. A fan tune? I took the biggest fan tune the other day. <laughs> well, maybe that just for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When we return, more about stealing the guy's trousers and then more about that fan tune I took. <laughs> be <All> the longest like LP ever. We've been working on this for like four and a half months. It'll get better, I promise. <laughs> I got better. Burn her anyway! <laughs>